there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. The Mexican Bandita dressing the part. Let's do it. The Bandito, Desperado, and Mexican Outlaw are all names given to what we commonly think of as this guy. Why don't you try to be a little more polite? He was your gone, and we leave you in peace. Hollywood has helped make them into the stereotype of the south of the border ruffian with low morals and even lower bathing habits. A plethora. Oh yes, <laughs> you have a plethora. Historically, this was not true in all instances. One famous bandito in the 19th century was Heraclio Bernal, a.k.a. the Thunderbolt of Sinaloa. In the late 1880s, he and his band of desperados robbed stagecoaches, mining operations, and armories. Unfortunately, his rebellious reign ended in 1888. But Bernal and another outlaw, Jesus Arriaga, were known for their Robin Hood-type morals. Stealing from the rich and giving to the poor made them extremely popular with the people, and they were able to evade capture for many years. We're men! We're men in tights. We run from the rich and give to the poor. That's right. However, history tells us of the bad guys and opportunists, too. What do you got in those packs, boss? Gold? Let's flip to the other side of the border. In the 1860s, Arizona Territory's Cerro Colorado mine was attacked by Mexican bandits who stole everything of value, killed some workers and the owner, and then destroyed the mine. They weren't only here. California, Texas, New Mexico, all these states have their own legendary desperados. The stereotype image of the bandito stems from these stories as well as the Mexican Revolution. Soldiers with crossed bandoliers and big sombreros heavily armed. Much of that look is based in fact. The straw sombrero is one of the smartest hats for the Southwest, seeing that the wide brim provided great shade and they're light and breathable. Another common shape was the sugar loaf, named for the cone shape that sugar in Mexico is packed in. As far as the clothing goes, the traditional vaquero jacket is a good choice over any band collar shirt. A simple vest or sack coat will work as well. Try not to think too fancy for this look. These were rough men we're talking about. My little buttercup has the sweetest smile. Pants can be the traditional reproductions or vaquero pants, which have a button down section below the knee. On some of these pants, the buttons go all the way up to the waistline. I wear botas which are leather leggings that extend below the knee to cover the boot for added protection while riding. As far as a poncho goes, you can do that too. Some photos show them thrown over a shoulder, which can break up that stereotypical look. Don't forget the gun rig, and a knife, either in the belt or in your boot. If you have a bandolier or two, that helps complete the picture. As previously stated, banditos can be dirty, so apply liberal amounts of fuller's earth. This is a type of clay that people use in movies to emulate dirt and dust. You really want that tough, brutish, desperado look. Everybody! <laughs> My little buttercup has the sweetest smile. <laughs> well, folks, that's it for another episode. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail. to show you in a stinking bushes?